this video we're going to uh, talk about how to do uh, multiple regression on seasonal monthly data. So here are our sales. Uh, they're highly seasonal. These are the total number of houses sold in uh, North America from 2015 until the present. Uh, all types of houses. And uh, again, just having a look, highly seasonal. The peaks are at the same time every year, June. The lows are at the same time every year, uh, January. Very predictable. I'm surprised. This is not um, massage or anything. These are the actual numbers um, pulled off of Redfin here. Uh, so perfectly, almost perfectly seasonal data here. Um, so let's try to do a multiple regression to forecast any future sales. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create dummy variables for each month. Um, I did that already just to save some time. So let's have, just have a look at a couple of them. Let's have a look at February. So I look at the month here uh, and um, I check and see if it's February, just uh, quotations around the February. Uh, if it is, put a one, if not, put a zero. So the February dummy variable is going to have one every time that we're in February. Same idea with March. Uh, if this month is March, put a one, otherwise put a zero. Note that it's not case sensitive this if call, so it doesn't matter whether you do March with a capital M or March with a lowercase m. Good. And again, anytime we're in the month of March, we're going to have a one there and so on and so forth. Note that January is missing here. I did that on purpose. I'm using every month, but January, I just put it at the end here. So February through December, I have made dummies for each of those. You can do the same whenever you have monthly data. I have also made this time period here, I could also call it the coded year um, that starts, or sorry, coded month or coded time. Um, it starts at time period zero and uh, goes up from there, counts up by one for each time period. Uh, now that that's set up, make sure that all of the coded time and all of the dummies for the months are beside each other. They need to be beside each other. And the Y is either to the left or the right of it somewhere. We're now ready to go do our regression. So data tab, data analysis, and then regression. Beautiful. And my Y here is going to be my number sold. So control shift down to grab them all. My X's are going to be the coded time all the way through to December. So not January, just to December. Control shift down to grab them all. Actually, and scroll up there to the last actual number sold. Okay, check off labels because I have labels. A new worksheet, let's put it in a regression output worksheet. Oh, put the residuals for sure. Click OK. Beautiful. So here are all of my coefficients. We're going to make sense of those as well. I'm going to copy those and put them into my regression here. Um, OK, good. Here's this output. Um, what I should also look at from my regression output, I should go down and look at my predicted number sold and my residuals. So scroll down, control shift, copy those, and then put them in. So sorry, put them um, right here. Actually, let's just pop them here for one sec and make a new column or two. I guess I could have insert them inserted them that way too. I could just cut them here and paste them here. Beautiful. So these are actually my forecasted and my um, my errors, if you will. Um, so I can go get that RMSC again. Very good idea. And it's equal to the square root. Sorry, I'll zoom in here. Again, my predicted and my residuals, I got them off of my regression output. So in my regression output right here, when you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's my predicted and residuals. And I just pop them back in beside my actual data here and the dummies. I put this all, I put them in um, beside my original data plus all the dummies. And I'm going to go get my RMSC here, which is equal to the square root of the sum squared of these residuals divided by the count of those residuals. Missing a bracket, it corrected it. 
Okay, so my RMSE is 9,232. Let's have a look at that. I also looked at this data set and I handled it with Holt Winters. Let's see what my RMSE was there. Oh. Okay, so it turned out to be um, quite a bit higher with my Holt Winters. I'm up at 20,000, whereas my RMSE using regression was 9,000. Okay, so regression is better on the seasonal data. Quite a bit better, actually. My RMSE is a lot smaller. And uh, using these coefficients here, I can come up with my forecast equation. Okay, so here is the resulting equation to forecast the total sales. Um, so it's our y-intercept plus our uh, coded time, coefficient times our t, uh, the coefficient for February times the dummy variable for February here, which is, uh, we can call it x2 and so on and so forth. So this is our resulting forecast equation um, to give us forecasts for our total number of sales based on the month and the coded time period, um, which is exactly what Excel basically did to get these numbers here.